What's up guys, Malk here, I make games but you don't care. Cutting straight to the chase, I'm gonna show you how to make mods for Mindwave. Also, if you wanna check out other cool mods, I've made a post on itch.io, which I recommend you to check. I'm gonna be putting here some cool mods cool people made. As well as you can promo your own mods or other favorite mods too, I guess. I also recommend you to go visit the Mindwave Discord server, as well as their mod making thread. All is gonna be linked down in the description. In the description, I've included a bunch of useful links you're gonna have to follow but I'm gonna be going one by one basically so first we're gonna go into the into the github link where I've linked the undertale mod tool and we're gonna go straight down to the to this basically section uh, there's basically those couple uh, links those couple files uh, it doesn't matter really which one we choose I'm gonna pick true they wanna click that link and uh, download it. I already have it downloaded but that's not important. The second uh, tool you're gonna have to download is the Delta Patcher. Uh, you're gonna scroll down here and click the download, download button too. I have, uh, I have it downloaded here too. After those things are done you're gonna wanna go to your Steam where you have the Mindwave demo. You're gonna right click on it or or even or you can do it here not this is not important really go to manage browse local files and here's basically where your cool mindwave stuff is mm, but the most important thing the thing you were really here for is the data.win file you're gonna want to uh, copy that uh, file over basically it contains most of the overall game files except for the meshes scripts and some translation stuff but reckon we're not gonna do those things today you're gonna basically wanna copy that over to a different folder there kind of backup yeah you know, just do to the backup you can even uh you can even mark it if you if you're really into it and what you're gonna do now uh now that that's done you're gonna go to your undertale mod tool it's gonna look kind of something like this uh, when of course extracted from the zip file I've used the a single file equals true version but you can go with the false version but you're gonna have to scroll down further uh, yeah I just paste this one just to speed things up a little a bit uh, but yeah you're gonna wanna double click on the undertale mod tool and uh, from here you can go two ways either go file open uh, and just go to the mindwave uh, directory and pick the data.win or you can go uh, just for the just grab the data win make sure it's the one not the one you backed up but rather the one in the, in the mindwave steam directory and uh, drag and drop it here uh, click yes and it's gonna unload all the cool, sti cool stuff and you're golden so now here you have all the all of your sprites you, you wanna double click on each file to preview it kinda in here we have the animations you wanna click those uh, thing is to preview each frame in particular here you can all you have also have sfx so if you wanna edit those you can even do that so yeah we're gonna first go let's let's basically spin up a little example mod so i'm gonna look up here there's uh, there's a search bar i pulled up the mind with logo it's a single frame but oh no uh if you wanna say replace the logo or repaint it to say green you wanna click here export all frames and go just go to the say the whatever directory you wanna and important thing of course if you're exporting the sprites or what have you include the padding you click no unless you really know what you're doing which I'm not then you click yes or no or what have you I'm gonna click no so I'll because I don't know what I'm doing and uh, here you have your cool file you can use that to say rip sprites for your 
flash animations or other stuff, important thing, please don't, please don't share uh, the files with other people or the persons without uh, consulting it with the MindWave team. Except for just the logo, we're gonna also copy uh, the change uh, song, so I'm gonna go muse underscore the main menu, that's basically the The song that plays in the intro uh, is gonna be really easy to notice uh, when we do the mod. So yeah, you can you don't see the export or import button anywhere over here. So you, you're gonna wanna click on the uh, this audio file section. It's here. You're gonna wanna click on the double click on the Undertale embedded audio with Daddy Daddy, and uh, yeah. It's basically the raw file, you're gonna click export. Oh, make sure also, just for clarity to copy the name, you right click here, copy name to clipboard, and click here, export. And uh, you wanna copy that name over here, and just save it in here. And when you have it all exported here, it does, that seems right, that's the, that's the song. And uh, the exporting part is all done, now we're gonna go to the editing. So yeah, basically we're gonna make a short example mode, uh, basically we're gonna change the logo a bit. So first of all, pick uh, an, Im an image editor software uh, of your choice. I'm gonna be using GIMP because I'm broke. And just uh, pull the sprite, make sure of course that the canvas size is always the same as the original file. I've no clue what would happen if you would use a different resolution, but I'm too scared to even try. So. When you have your thing edited, all done and stuff, you wanna overwrite the file you just exported. And here's our edited logo now for the music. You're gonna... Okay, so we've exported the song The Thermodynamic Equilibrium by Chris Christodoulou to the Muse underscore main menu. Uh, now that all the assets are done and it's all cool, we're gonna uh, replace the song. So you op you're gonna wanna open up the Undertale mod tool again. And when you previously pressed the export button, now you wanna press the import button. And uh, here as it's the muse underscore main menu you you're gonna choose muse that main menu to the replaced one it's gonna take a while depending on the file but for the sprites it's mostly the same except you you're gonna double click on that and uh, yeah you have the import export buttons you're gonna click import pick this one for sprites it usually takes a bit that's done now now that basically the Simple mods done. Uh, you're now gonna wanna save that. So click File, Save, or Control S if you're feeling fancy. Grab the MindWave data.win file, save, yes, replace it, and that's basically your mod done. Before releasing the mod to the public, we're first gonna need to test the mod. Uh, yeah, that's the green logo. Before you go releasing the mod to the public, you must know that you're not allowed to share the mod as the data.win file. You gotta create a patch file for it. That's why we're gonna use the the second tool. We're now gonna go to the Delta Patcher, which I totally didn't forget to export from the zip. So yeah, we're gonna go for the Delta Patcher. That shouldn't be a virus, I reckon. On default, it uh, shows up uh, to the UI to basically uh, apply a patch. We're gonna press the swap button to change to the patch creation part. So basically, we wanna uh, drag and drop the original file here, the modified file, which we've modified from the uh, MindWave directory. We're gonna drag it here. Or you can literally just uh, choose a directory from here. And for the X Delta path, you're gonna wanna click the cassette icon or whatever it was, pull up your directory in here and uh, basically put a name for the mod. And after that, after all that's done, press create patch 
and the patch successfully created presto okay so that's our mod done this file since this is just a patch you can easily share it around whole hammer is fine with those things uh i reckon they said it on discord so basically that's the end of the tutorial thanks for watching uh next tutorial is gonna be a short one i'm gonna show you how to apply mods